Mr. Lee, your share price is 25% lower from your IPO price of 80 cents. How would you describe the decline? As a property de developer, that we always we have to always actually focus into a long term. We focus on uh, the business growth and we focus on our results. I think when the results come, then actually it will reflect on the share price. So, uh, in fact, last last week I just came back from Saigon or Jimin City. Uh, we we successfully to actually uh, conceal uh, to seal up the land the land deal over there, which I think we have been working for nearly four years. Uh, as you know that we are very conservative, you know, four years we have been actually up and down, up and down for many, many uh, years and we have been looking many parcels of the land already. We have been looking for at least more than 10 parcels of the land. But finally, we choose this. Why we choose this piece of land? Because of it's only about 15 kilometers uh, uh, distance away from the CBD, District 1. In uh, Saigon, they're actually the they split by actually a few districts. So District 1 is the, is the CBD just like our KKLC KL here. In fact, that the property price over there in District 1, amazing. It's almost 3 to 4 times more expensive than KLCC area. Our land actually acquired is just about 15 kilometers from the CBDs. In, in fact, that actually is just like about PJ versus Kuala Lumpur. It's very close. We feel that there's an opportunity. Why we feel that there's an opportunity? Because during the last the few days, that during the few days that actually we stay in uh, this Ho Chi Minh City, we stay in the Liberty, the CCA, the District 1, uh, we went to a restaurant okay, during the dinners. When we went there, we, we was actually shocked that it's packed. The restaurant is packed. We, in fact, we were actually waiting for 20 minutes uh, before actually we can go into the restaurant. I look at the restaurant, actually it's as big as uh, nearly about 80 tables there. Full with people. What does it mean? That means that the market is coming back. People willing to spend. And recently, I'm talking to the bankers, the Vietnam bankers. So they give me uh, actually uh, the data that the interest rate is coming down for their financing. What does that mean? The government actually is pushing for the economy. Then when the, the interest rate is low, then the buying power is strong. I think that gives us a very good thing that the Vietnam actually is a good place for us to actually go into. Then which I think we have successfully seal up the first piece of land. Likewise, in Malaysia, I look at it very good because after pandemic, you look at the whole entire so economy actually is move, slowly moving up. Yeah, of course, during the pandemic time, so everyone actually uh, cannot work. Slightly slow down during the pandemic time, but after the pandemic, op the government actually opened up already. So everything just like back to normal, back to normal. Last weekend, we have just one uh, soft launch for our Vesta residence location at Satya Wangsa. Below 5 kilometers are to KLCC. I tell you, the result is surprising. We actually private invitation for our business associate, for our assisting uh, buyers to come and actually visit the show unit. And of course, that we open for them to register. Out of one block, that we open up one block, 400 units. 161 units have been taken up, which means about 35%. So that you look at it, in Malaysia, as far as your product is right, your pricing is right, your location is right, the demand is still there. Of course, that we are Skyward actually is emphasized on quality. That's the addi additional actually benefit actually that we offer to the customers. So that we look at it, the market is good. The result is good. We believe that the, the share price definitely actually is covered. There's all more on the long term. Are you concerned that the political situation in Malaysia is still so fluid? We, we have all the data from NAPE. The property transactions rate in Malaysia compared with the year before increased by 29% and the property overhang. A lot of people talk about the property overhang. There's the data there also. It, it reduced by 24.7%. And especially in Kuala Lumpur, it's reduced by 19.8%. What does it mean? It means that the market is coming back. You look at the overhang reduced, the transaction survey increase. So that gives you very good uh, information that the property market is still going. When do you think the Malaysian property market will return to pre uh, downturn levels? As far as your product, you're doing actually is good products. The pricing is right. The location is right. And with the quality, I believe that the demand is still there as Skyward actually is a city developers. We are focusing in city development. At the front of uh, this uh, KL, also part of our, our aiming on the, our development. So when we talk about city development, the demographic, the urbanization, Still part of the trends of Malaysia as of now. I believe that in the coming this year, according to the data also, so there is about seventy percent urbanization rate in Malaysia. We still have about another twenty percent to come. So that the urbanization rate in Malaysia is still actually growing from year to year. So we believe that the market is still okay. In five years' time, how many percent revenue will come from overseas, and how many percent will come from domestic? Five years' time, that okay. Now we we we, we actually start to to acquire land, so that the revenue actually we generate another two few years later, so that we believe that five years later, the overseas revenue just actually start to kick in. Ten slowly, ten 
15, 20, gradually increase uh, on the coming year. Where else other than Clay Value are you looking at for expansion? Of course, that as a city developers, that we look at opportunity. Opportunity, like for example, Northern Side, also one of our target that we actually hunting for the land because we believe that the major industry, the technology industry is all actually at the Northern Side. As one of the founding members of Skywall, how did you think you would do it differently? Because there are so many developers in Malaysia, it's such a crowded place, right? Why do you think you would be different? If you want to be actually stand up from the rest, you got to do things differently. We need a team. We need a very solid team to think out of the box in order to do 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 things differently. Like so one of one of the few examples that we have actually practiced is currently the market is all talk about ESG, and we have put in this thought and element into our product way back our first development what have been done what does that means means that during our first development we have actually gone through all this thermal comfort analysis daylight analysis wind tunnel analysis sun path analysis cross ventilation analysis into our product that actually to cut down the mechanical ventilation what we are doing actually is to try to actually lower down the maintenance charges that is one of the differentiating activity that we are doing. We actually we offering to the appetizer. We have to always think that we have to add value to our development. Uh, then actually, you will have actually the appetizer to follow you. As a as a developer, the most important thing that after you finish your product, you hand over to your product. Whether it still actually come with uh, uh, this additional enhancement value to the customer or not. For example, three weeks ago, we signed an MOU with our Skylux, the management committee over there, to elevate and to actually increase the EV charges. As you know that nowadays, the market is getting more and more EV car. So where is all this charging station? We are working with them and Skylux is our development. No doubt that we have had handed over two years ago. We are still actually engaging with them. We are still engaging with them and we actually carry out the R&D, uh, this uh, research and development on that particular development and our, our all others development also, good enough that we have some spare capacity on our this uh, applying on the, the, this, uh, the power consumption so that we are able to offer the charging station, additional charging station to that development so that we are, we are actually signing uh, this uh, MOU with them. Apart from that, also we are actually working on some of the uh, the solar to reduce the power the this uh, utility bills because i believe that we're talking about property management the utility bills are uh, the water bills are uh, the waste bill uh, there's the killing and uh, the security guards there's the, there's all the actually maintenance uh, charges that actually who pay by the purchaser i'm actually trying to cut down all these charges by inventing a new system into the development so after we hand over the properties so we are still actually continue to work together with them. So that is some of the activity that we, I feel that we actually try to adding a value to our existing purchaser and to our properties. Do you encourage entrepreneurs to still go into property development? Do you think there's still potential in this area? Yeah, we feel that uh, yes, they still got a lot of potential in this area because property development is very dynamic. Very dynamic means what? That means that we are not actually, everything is very, uh, symmetrical or monotonous so that is very dynamic that you can have a different design you can have a different concept your building can come with actually a uh, full digitization and how well uh, how how ready are you in terms of actually uh, promote it to the public i think that is the, the 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 dynamic of this industry what advice would you give to entrepreneurs that are willing that are trying to start a business in this day and age uh, when you start a business you got to be conservative and you got to be actually uh, stay tuned, work for it because I think I, I not only this this industry, all the industry also the same thing. So that we we got to be conservative and whatever that we do, we have to make sure that it's benefit to the purchaser, it benefit to our stakeholders. So in in Skyward, we have three core uh, stakeholders that we need to take care: customers, share owner, and talent. So as far as whatever that we do, that we have to make sure that these three parties benefit. Regardless of development industry, your manufacturing industry, the three angle that we always actually have to take care, and then we don't forget all that. So what we have to do that we have to keep on 
increasing value to our customer, I think that will be the, the, the right uh, uh, pathway to go. What advice would you give to the 21 year old Li Chi Sing? Uh, okay, if I, I can go back to 21 years old, I feel that I have to actually work harder and harder again because the 30 years in my current uh, career, I feel that I still actually waste some of the time that I didn't actually doing well. But of course, let's say if I have the opportunity to go back again, I, I can do actually two times or three times better than now because I feel that certain thing that when I actually got it not right, that I didn't actually immediately actually rectify it. So I should actually, this is human being. This is the pathway that everyone actually will go through. But when we know that certain thing that we are doing not right or certain thing that we are stuck that we have to immediately actually make a U-turn and actually we have to go for alternative. We believe that we have to follow the flow, the, the flow of water in order to actually avoid the rocks. So that is the own, that's my, my, my own actually fundamentals of thinking in, in, in my career. Okay, thank you.